What's this of the Hubalaka? Take one. Was it recording that? Yeah. Oh, oh we're, we're recording. <laughs> I'm back from out of space. I just walked in to find you there with that sad look upon you. But I am back from my holiday. I took quite an extended break over Christmas, not really doing much. But nonetheless, my next tribute project, which will be, and I will ask for a drum roll now, I'll be introducing. I can't remember the word YouTube veteran. I can't remember it. It's because it's two words. Thanks. <laughs> YouTube veteran and all around founder of vlogging, Zay Frank. Yay! Yay. A lot of renowned YouTubers quote Zay Frank as being one of their biggest inspirations when they started vlogging, and on this I'm afraid I will be no different. But I am proud to say that I didn't learn about Zay Frank through YouTube. I actually didn't even realize the full extent of his impact and his reach and his influence until I was researching for the Vlog Brothers, where I learned that his journey actually started way back in 2001 when he sent out an e-bike to a birthday party teaching people how to dance with gifts. But I digress, if you would like to see a brief history of Zay Frank, then feel free to watch this video, A Brief History of Zay Frank by YouTuber Foot to Foot Ferret. Foot to Foot it. That. Or oh, feel free to just stay here and keep watching me. A few years ago, back in 2012, when Zay Frank made his reappearance on the internet, he released a video called Invocation for Beginnings. Now at that time, I didn't know about Zay Frank, but I was in a slump, and I was having trouble unslumping myself. And then a friend, IT WAS ME! <laughs> told me to go and watch this video, and it helped. It really did, and it may sound cliche, but it really did change my perspective on a few things. But it wasn't just that video, it was the discovery of this person, Zay Frank, and upon watching more and more of his videos, I was inevitably led to the TED Talk that he did called My Web Playroom, which, on a side note, is actually how I discovered TED Talk, so that's a whole other thing. It was that presentation that really opened my eyes to the possibilities that the internet created, how we could connect with, learn from, and then share amongst people from around the world with just a few clicks of a button. An idea that has and will stay a common theme for the rest of my life in whatever career that I choose. But wait, there's more. Not only did he spark that sudden fascination with the internet and everything that it could do, Along with Veritasium's videos and Ira Glass's videos, which I previously mentioned, it was actually one of Zay Frank's videos as well, entitled Thoughts on a Creative Career, that really got me into that, I just need to start doing things kind of attitude. And that about summarizes it really. So to finish off, I will say that this is only part one of Zay's tribute, and true to my own style so far, I'll be copying his style, more specifically the style in which he used to shoot Invocation for Beginnings. In a couple of days, I'll be uploading part two of this tribute, where I'll basically just be saying a whole heap of really nice things to you guys. And hopefully it'll be a video that can bring a smile to your face, even if you're in a bit of a slump. But that's pretty much all I have to say for today, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in a few days. Hello and welcome to my channel, Foot of a Ferret. Yes, I know the username is... Oh, it's Foot of a Ferret.